Delighted to be joined by pro boxer Melinda Whatpool. How are you on this lovely Tuesday morning? Very good. Um, I had a little bit of training this morning. Uh, luckily, it was indoors because it's raining outside right now. So, uh, yeah, a nice little early morning session. Um, so it feels good to get that um, get that done with. And then I have the rest of my day to do whatever. Well, okay. a.k.a. work and <laughs> do my other stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, first things first, uh, how did you get started in boxing? What age did you begin? What prompted uh, you to start? Yeah, I was around 15 years old. Uh, my soccer coach, I did a lot of sports growing up, um, but I was always interested in boxing, watched movies, watched fights on TV. Something drew me to it, read books about boxing. And uh, yeah, my soccer coach, his brother did a not a competitive class, but he used to uh, he used to compete. So it was, you know, very technical. And I started with that around 15. And then I wanted, I decided I was, I wanted to compete. Um, so I had my first amateur fight at 17. Um, so that was, yeah, a ways <laughs> a while ago. Um, yeah. And then within that year, I kind of won nationals and it just kept going from there. So once I started boxing and, uh, I decided, you know, I was going to stop all my other sports and this was going to be the one for me. Now, if I had walked up to you at 17 years old, right before that first amateur fight and told you that, uh, come November 15th of this year, you'd be fighting for a world title. What do you think your reaction would have been? Yeah, truthfully, I, I had no idea about the world of boxing, really. Um, it was my coach at the time. He was even the one to be like, we can make you a national champ, provincial champion, national champion. I'm like, what's that? Like, <laughs> I had no idea. So, yeah, I probably wouldn't even uh, know where where to begin if you came with that. Um, yeah, it's been quite an adventure, and uh, it's just funny how, like, some of my goals I've set later on in my career are actually starting to come come through. Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, undoubtedly the best is yet to come. Uh, but it starts with November 15th. You're fighting Shadesia Green on the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson card. How is preparation going for that? Yeah, it's going amazing. Um, I fought in September. So I had like a long training camp for, for that fight. So it's just kind of feels like I've just kept going with it. You know, I had a little bit of a break, but I felt like even going into this camp, I was already in shape. I already had my timing, um, in the ring. So it's just, um, just continuing on with that. Um, you know, my, I have a really good coach, Dwight Fraser, who's getting me ready in the gym. And then I also have a great uh, strength and conditioning coach, um, getting me ready with, uh, outside the gym with, um, my conditioning and my power and speed and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I have a good team. We have a good system going on right now. And I, in my last fight, I felt the benefits of everything and I'm sure I'll feel it again for this fight. Can you walk me through the process of where you were when you got the call uh, for this fight, not only fighting for a world title, but on a stage of this magnitude? Well, <laughs> This, this, um, Shadesha, we've been kind of looking at for a while. They actually offered a little while ago, a um, couple times to fight her. The first time I was only three fights in and I'd done max four rounds. So we were like, no, we're not ready for this. Right. And then, uh, yeah, the second time they offered was in July. Um, you know, it wasn't for a world title. It wasn't on a big, as big of a show. We just kind of thought we'll wait. I think, I think we'll wait and uh, we'll see what else, what else happens. And then, um, yeah, I saw them post this. I saw them post the show for November, uh, with Jake Paul, Tyson, Katie Taylor, Amanda. And I thought to myself, man, I would love to be on that show. Um, and then I was, I think it was like two days later, I was running on the treadmill and my coach shows me his phone from my promoter um, offering the fight at uh, for a world championship, you know, super middleweight um, on this card. And right away, I was just like, yes, yes. Like, I'm pretty sure I almost fell off the treadmill. <laughs> it just seemed like everything's just lining up to 
for this moment. So yeah, we we jumped on the on the opportunity. We're we're ready. We're ready for it now. Oh, absolutely. And to be fighting for the WBO world title, try to put that into words, quantify it for me. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's something like even this time last year, I've been thinking about a title, um, about a world championship. Even before I went pro, um, my coach was like, we'll go pro, but you're you're getting a world title. Like he kind of already had that in his head. I knew if I was going pro, I had to have that in my head. So it's just, it's amazing feeling to, for it actually to be coming to fruition right now. Um, and yeah, we're, I'm ready for it. Um, you know, I've been training since I was 17. Uh, all of it's kind of just led up to this moment. Now, do you have any like rituals or anything that you do before you step into the ring? Anything that helps you get into that right headspace? Uh, do you do anything in particular? Um, it kind of depends how I'm feeling, uh, going like leading up to the fight. Some fights I'm really a little bit nervous and I need to kind of relax a little bit. Sometimes I'm a little bit, um, not sleepy, but just a little bit too relaxed and I need to pump up a little bit. So it just kind of depends. Um, like my last fight, I was quite jittery. Uh, so my one of my sparring partners in um, Bonnie, who works my corner, she gave me a book um, about, uh, about Kobe Bryant. So just about his history and how he viewed the game and it just totally relaxed me and got me into the mindset. Um, yeah, I don't have many rituals. I just, you know, warm up to do my thing. My coach always says, you know, it's showtime before the fight. So I kind of like to hear that. And I know like, this is, this is, this is it. It's time, right? Yeah. Describe your feelings right now. I mean, we're, we're a few weeks before, uh, the fight, you know, like it's, a huge, huge, uh, millions of people are going to be watching this fight card. How do you kind of put yourself in the right headspace for, because this is undoubtedly the biggest show that you fought on. Uh, how do you put yourself in the right space for that? How are you kind of keeping yourself centered right now? Yeah, it takes a lot of focus and a lot of, I do really well with routine. So staying with my routine um, day by day, week by week. Uh, I do a lot of journaling. Um and nothing crazy, just like writing what I did that day, what I'm going to do tomorrow, my thoughts and feelings. Um, I do a lot of visualization, putting myself in that moment and what it's going to feel like, what it's going to look like. So it's not like the first time when I get there, right? I already have gone through some of those emotions. Um, but yeah, it's very much you have to stay focused on uh, what you're doing, not get too um, overwhelmed by everything else that's going on. And yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just literally like trying to stay day to day, each, take each day at, the, at a time with kind of that like big picture goal in your mind, right? So you're doing these things now to, to achieve that goal in the future. Right, right. Well, you've made quite a name for yourself in the boxing world. Uh, for fans who maybe haven't heard of you yet or haven't seen you compete, what should they expect to see from the whip uh, when, when watching her compete? Yeah, I, I have a little bit more of a high output type of style. Like I throw um, quite a few punches. I like to land that overhand right a lot in the hook, um, body shots. So it's a it's pretty much a fast paced fight how I how I do it. I know Shadesha, she's a little bit more of a thinker and she sits back a little bit more. So it'll be a little bit of a chess game in that sense, trying to get her to commit out of that. Um, but yeah, I like to entertain. I like to throw lots of punches. I like to hit hard and uh, <laughs> try not to get hit while I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are the international champion. Uh, you won that belt in, in one of your recent fights. Uh, you know, assuming everything goes well here and you capture the WBO title, do you have a specific spot designated in your place where you're going to be putting? Are you putting in your gym? Where are you going to be putting this belt? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> The belt I have right now, I've been just carrying it around in my car, <laughs> whipping it out every once in a while. <laughs> um, but I think, yeah, this belt, I think, belongs in my gym. Um, I hope, uh, yeah, I'm sure my coach will be happy to, ha to have it there. I'll, I'll bring it around to, you know, I just bring it to, like, my massage therapist, my osteopath, my trainers. My I take it to work with me. I'm a part owner of a hardware store. 
So I, uh, you know, I brought my belt to work just to show the customers that I interact with every day, right? People in the community. Um, but yeah, I think eventually it'll it'll end up in the gym and hang out there for a while. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Well, before we go, I want to get your prediction on Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Who do you <laughs> think takes that W? You know, it's crazy that I've been racking my brain with it like ever since. And it's just like, you know, one side you got Jake Paul, who's a young, strong. And like, he's been training, he's been training hard. He's been training for quite a few years now. Um, but then you just got the legendary, like Mike Tyson. Right. So I don't know. I'm not, I'm at a loss of how it's going to go truthfully for this fight. I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited to be there and be a part of it. I'm also excited to see the Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano fight. Um, I was at their first fight in at Madison square gardens and it was, it was a war was an awesome competition. So I'm excited to see that as well. There's also another Canadian fighter, Lucas Batty fighting on the show. Um, so he'll be there. And then, yeah, I'm excited for my fight also, obviously, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a wicked night. Yeah. It's going to be a phenomenal night. And I wish you the very best of luck. Have fun out there. I'm going to leave the floor to you. If there's anyone you'd like to thank, how can people find the whip on social media? Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Um, Mel Wattpool is my handle or Melinda Wattpool on Facebook. Um, yeah, just appreciative to Jake Paul and the promotion for putting us together and having me on for, a, you know, such a big fight for me and uh, my promoter, Tyler Buxton, kind of getting that sorted and bringing it to us. And yeah, my coach, my trainers, everyone, the people that will be coming out to Texas with me. Um, I really appreciate their, their support. And uh, yeah, I couldn't do it without them.